Hello everyone, welcome to Amartyoti's Crochet World. Today I am here again with my 5 coaster series. This was the first one that we had made. Then this apple coaster. Then this watermelon coaster. And then we had made this circular coaster. So far we have made 4 coasters. And now the fifth one I am going to make is this tea cup with a tea bag coaster. So for making this coaster I am taking the base. Uh, we need a, a yarn for the base of the cup and a tea bag and just a little bit of this cream off white or white color yarn you need. So for taking base, I am taking this uh, light green color. For making this tea bag, I am taking this light pink color, baby pink color. And just a 10 to 12 inches of of white color or white color yarn. And for this we need 2 mm crochet hook, the best needle to see all the ends and a pair of scissors. So let's begin. So first of all we are going to make this cup, we are starting from the bottom and then we will go upside and then we will finish it off and then we will make the tea bag and we will attach the string to it. So let's start. I am taking this base color. For this make a slip knot and start making chains, make 11 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 chains. In the second chain from the hook, start making single crochet in each and every stitch. So you will be having 10 single crochet in this first row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the first row, 10 single crochet in the first row. Now, chain 1. Uh, what I am going to do is from second chain onwards, we will continue till end like that. So, uh, please uh, look at this very carefully. Chain 1. Turn your work around. The very first space you will see, make a single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, uh, nine, and here in the space ten. So far, we have made ten double, uh, ten single crochet, and. In the corner you will see a V like this. It is a V. So that we have to make one single crochet in this space. So now we have 11 single crochet. This will make it a slanting look increasing to the sides. Chain 1. Turn your work around. This was row number 2 and now I am working on row number 3. Now, in this space, 
1. We had 11 single crochet now. Now we will be having 12 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 11. Right now it looks straight. Come on the side. There is a V stitch. Just insert your hook in that and make a single crochet. Like this. Row number 3. It is increasing this way. Row number 3 it was. Now I am making row number 4. Chain 1. Turn your work around. And then in the first space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13th at the side. Right. So you can see it is increasing. It was 10 uh, single crochet in the starting and now we are on 13 single crochet and we were on row number 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And now we will make the row number 5. This we will continue till we reach row number 18. 1, 8, 18 row number. I will meet you at the end of row number 18. The same sequence we are going to follow till row number 18. I will meet you at the end of row number 18. Now I have done 18 rows of this single crochet and see my cup is taking shape. It, we had 10 uh, single crochet in the starting and now at the end of 18th row we have 27 stitches in this 18th row. Now for 19th row we are making, we are going to make the border and uh, the cup handle right now. So, row number 19, chain 1, turn your work around and again we are going to do the same thing like at, as we had done. Single crochet in each of the stitches. This is uh, making the edge of your cup. One single crochet in each of the stitches. This is row number 19. Now, as earlier we were doing the last stitch in the corner V st uh, stitch uh, in uh, 18 rows we had uh, done this but now in 19 stitch I am not going to do that. The last stitch in which I have made one single crochet now I will make another single crochet in the same space. It will turn the corner. Now you will see in an, uh, starting of every row you will see a stitch like this. Just make one single crochet to make the border. Like this. This will make the corners, the borders a very neat and uh, clean look. Uh, now this. In 
each of the row make one single crochet Now I am at the end of this row, the edge I have completed. Now in the last stitch make two single crochet. So this will be a turning uh, side of this cup. Take this small thread along with and make single crochet till end of this row. Again I am at the end now, make two single crochet at the corner and come on this row in this side. Again one single crochet in each of the row. Now we are uh, at the point where we have started the row number 19. So from here I will start making the handle. Let me finish it off. No, sorry, do not finish it off. In the last stitch, make a slip stitch. Chain 1. The edges I have done. Now. I am going to make the handle. For making handle, make 17 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Chain 17. What I am going to do now See, your handle will be here. It will come like this. Right now you will see it's very close to your cup. But when you will cover this uh, uh, chain with stitches, it will look like this. Like this. It will take its shape. So, uh, leaving about 4 stitches from the below. 1 two three and four just let me see yeah one two three and four in the fifth stitch I am going to uh, fifth in the fourth stitch <coughs> make a slip stitch Now we are working on this chain, make one single crochet, one single crochet, that means two single crochet we have done. Now 17 half double crochet, half double crochet 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन दीज आर सेवनटीन हाफ डबल क्रोशे एंड अगेन टू सिंगल क्रोशे इन द एंड मेक अ स्लिप स्टिच इन द टॉप चेन वन एंड फिनिश इट ऑफ So here your cup is ready. Hide the end. Use your tapestry needle and hide the end. I am hiding it in the cup handle. Cut the extra yarn. So this cup is ready. Now. we are going to make this tea bag and the string now i am going to take the second color yarn that i have taken the baby pink color slip not make a slip knot and chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 in the second chain start making single crochet that means four single crochet in first row 2 3 and 4 chain 1 turn your work around again four single crochet in the second row make four rows of this chain 1 Turn your work around. Four single crochet. Two, three, and four. Fourth row, chain one, and one single crochet in each of the stitches. That means total of four stitches. Four single crochet. So this is done. Chain one. Turn your work around. Now start making single crochet as border. as we had done for the cup on the corner side make two double uh, two single crochet so that it will give a nice turning point single crochet in each of the rows the same method as i was using for the cup and in the last stitch make two single crochet now in the base and in the corner two single crochet and one single crochet in each of the stitches till end and make a slip knot uh, sorry slip stitch in the first stitch chain 1 and leave some tail to sew it to your cup and finish it so here is your tea bag that i will attach over here so let me show you how to attach the string as i told you 10 to 12 inches of this of white color uh, yarn i have taken so now what i am going to do is this is the front side this is the front side of your tea bag i am coming at the back side now and in some how second row pass this of white color yarn 
like this. like this and tie a knot cut the extra yarn see the T bag string is attached like if we are stitching it here the T string will be T bag string will be like here so I have attached it at the back now let's sew our tea bag to the cup thread the needle and place it where you want to attach it and start sewing make sure your pink color yarn does not go at the back side of this cup this is just to hide your yarn in between the base of the cup this will make it more neat and clean work like this it does not show at the back as I am sewing it the corner these are some of the techniques that uh, makes your work neat and clean and looks more beautiful as I told you in the case of that watermelon tea coaster in that you have to hide the yarn in between the stitches so that the seeds show, uh, are shown on the front side only and the back side is neat and clean Here I am at the end. Now I am going at the back. It's soon. At the back you will see only this yarn that I have passed through right now. Now I will secure it by tying a knot. hide the yarn still at the back of this tea bag and cut the yarn now attaching that string again I am threading the needle with this off white color or white color whatever you want so just by adjusting the yarn in the fourth stitch two, three, four. in the fourth stitch you can see this V I am taking this from the front and going at the back like this making it a bit loose not stretching it like this just making it a bit loose and holding with my thumb so that it will not get uh, stretched just make it secure at the back tying two knots and hide the tail at the back of the cup minimum uh, 
amount of your other color yarn is shown at the back otherwise it's very neat and clean your tea coaster is ready cup with a tea bag you can make in a single color I have made in different colors like this this one this one this one and this one any color any um, I, one thing you can uh, decrease the size of the cup you can increase the size of the cup according to your need and uh, these corners are a bit cur curling up these will be uh, corrected if uh, we block them so in, uh, in next video I will upload for blocking these tea coasters so beautiful cups tea cups with tea bags and string I have made Hope you like all my videos. Hope you like these tea cups and the coaster series. Now the tea coaster series I have I am making is finished. So we will start with something new in the next video. Hope you all like my video. And and uh, please if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel press the bell button so that you will get be notified with the every new upload I have made and please like share and subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching my videos thank you and have a nice day